Okay, welcome to another um, tutorial by Fun for PSP. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to put custom themes onto your PSP. And custom themes, it pretty much changes the everything on your PSP, like the way everything looks, the way your PSP even loads up. So, for this, you'll need a PSP, USB cable, and a computer, like normal. Okay, so first of all, turn on your PSP. Now this is what your PSP would normally do. When you add a custom theme, it will be different. So that's a pretty cool feature. Okay, so next, <clears throat> you're gonna download these two files. Now they'll both be linked, and this is the custom theme right here. It is presented by Vince Vincent William Phillips, and this is an XMB which I also got from him. Okay, so connect your PSP to the computer. This screen should appear. Go to this. Open folders to view files. Now, if you don't have uh, SEP plugins, then you need to make the file. Simply right click, like so and then there should be a create new folder and it's set plugins all lowercase but first okay after you make that go into it and if you don't have it then obviously there will be nothing in it just open up this one if you don't already have this file open this one and just drag and drop this folder in here if you do have it then you should already have a folder called VSH in there just open it up Okay, so if you do, you probably already have plugins. So, then you're just going to open up this VHS file, which will only have one line in there. You're going to highlight it and copy it. Then close this one once you've copied it. Bring this one back. It's very simple. And paste. There, that's all done for now. Then save. Okay, so you're done that. Now what you can do is open, then open up the CXMB file, and you have to basically, you can move it or delete it, I really don't care, you just don't need it anymore. Then all you have to do, you have to open up your, you still need, make sure you leave your PSP screen open, because it, you still need it. Then you're going to take this file, after you deleted that, VSH and you're just gonna drag it and drop it into the root of your PSP that's not in PSP see it's just in the root see there it is and there's PSP okay now you're gonna go into your PSP and you're gonna go into theme if you don't have theme just make it it's all in capitals okay and you're gonna open up this it's made by Vincent William Phillips and you're gonna have to go into tools folder options view then in view you're gonna have to find this and make sure it says show files and show hidden files and folders because there is one hidden one and that is this sorry and that is this one I'm not sure why it's it's uh, it's this one right here I'm not sure why it's hidden but it is okay so now you're gonna have to highlight all of them and sorry no okay highlight all of them file copy sorry it's under edit go back into theme and paste now it's copying okay once all those are made you're done on the computer okay so now go back to your PSP and you should be in the this mode okay turn it off turn it back on oh sorry I didn't turn mine off completely you have to completely turn it off and turn it back on and go into recovery mode
Okay, in recovery mode, you have to go into plugins, and there, there you'll find your plugins. And you, sh if you don't have any other plugins, there should just be cxmb.prx. It's a V, yeah, or yeah, it's a VSH, like all of them, and it will most likely be disabled. Just highlight it and click X. And it will be then and it will be enabled then, and your thing will already go back to back. Just click X again. You'll go here, go to exit. Okay, so after you've done that, your PSP will start up normally again. Then um, go to themes, theme settings, and theme, and there it is. So let's see what it looks like. Apply. Yes. It will always ask you to overwrite. It's just because that's the way it is. And it, your PSP will look like it's shutting off, and then it will reboot itself. And this is what it looks like. And see, you can ch see he changed almost everything. I'll post more links about him and all of his themes. And here is what it looks like. There's an M33 update for your custom updates, not just a regular no network update. And that's all for now. This is fun for PSP.